Hi everybody, it's me. I'm here in my favorite spot in Mauritius and it's some day in August, it's a Tuesday, that's suppose what I know and it's coming to sunset. I thought I'd share this moment with you and it's quite reminiscent really of where I was here back in February, March and early April and it's really pleasant to come back and to be able to put this energy that was invested here a few months ago into creating something that is going to transform not only my life, my family's life, the life of many others. And I suppose this whole story comes back to this belief, this belief in who I am, what I'm here for, what I'm doing, and the reasons for doing what I'm doing. And I wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs> but it's not the fact that I'm in paradise or not the fact that I'm here. It's what is being achieved, what is being done and connecting with people that are of the same mindset, have the same visions, have the same opportunities. And now the foundations are firmly set in place to enable these projects, these projects to manifest into a, into a reality into physical transformation, transmutation and ultimately transforming energy, electricity amongst many other things and many of you that have followed my story and journey since 2014 will realize that this is the power of love, this is the power of belief, this is the power of determination and action it's not one where one can sit on their hands or on their laurels or on their morals. It's having that intuition knowing that something needs to be changed within ourselves and knowing that we have the courage and the knowledge and the inner wisdom to have full confidence in who we are. And yes, it's quite frightening. Yes, it's quite scary. But all of these things are superfluous. These are parts of emotion, our emotional body. And when we're separated from that, we are constantly processing what we're doing, why we're doing it, and how we're doing it. But not in that with that logic, but in a way that we're comparing what we've done before, how does it assimilate to what we're doing today, and what and how to apply the lessons learned or the knowledge learned during our awakening or our life journey. And this is one of the things that I realized the other day that when I came here, I came here with a, a vision of how it can be and on discovering that and experiencing that vision, realizing that I'm not just the only one that needs to be considered here. I'm not the only person that needs to make a decision or a choice. So I've separated this emotion in a way that I've had to look at things from a cold perspective, from an emotion, emotional state, from Zen if you want, from zero point. And I have to go through the motions of going through the process of looking at other opportunities that are here and then sharing that collective experience with my colleagues and asking them which is the best one and which serves us well and which serves the purpose and being open to exploring other opportunities to ensure that whatever it is that manifests here is for the highest good of all and has a contribution to the energy shift of this wonderful planet in which we live. And I can look at what's going on around the world and be very easily drawn into this horror show, this really this travesty of humanity and understand that it's not my responsibility. I know what I'm doing, I know what my colleagues are doing, I know what my family is doing, I know where I would like to be, and I know who I would like to be with me, enjoying and enjoying, enjoying this journey of discovery. And people ask me what I'm here, where do I live? I live here, this is my home right now. I have no fixtures or fittings or my bag, my life is my bag, my life is my laptop. And I had the choice the other day to either get a new laptop or to get the one fixed that served loyally for five years. 
So in the end I decided to get the one that I have for five years fixed because I don't like the new Windows 10 or 12 or whatever. I'm the Windows 7 guy. And most technology today can't function on that. So I decided to repair mine and continue the workhorse journey that it, that it has served. There's no point in throwing it out. There's no point in exchanging it. It's just easier to be repaired. And these are all decisions that involve emotions. They involve pragmatism. They involve normal. Can I afford it? Yes, I can afford it. Is it really necessary? Um, and these are the constant challenges and tests that are presented every day to me. They're presented in my walking life. They're presented in my working life. They're presented in my social life. And it's quite cool to be able to say no. It's quite cool to be able to give somebody an answer that you don't agree with. And it's quite cool to be able to say, this is what I want because this is what I deserve. And these are all key words that as we move forward on our journey, we start to use. We realize our power, we realize our energy, we realize the journey that we've been on, and we realize why we're here. And that is the single most important part of awakening is the reason why we're here. And when we're moving and living that going forward through action, not through energy healing, not through uh, healing, we've done all this stuff, we've done the healing. How can we constantly be healing? We can't be healing. That means we're not whole. So we're healed. There's nothing wrong with us. It's just applying this logic, this wisdom, this knowledge, this inner knowing, and most importantly, this love that we have for ourselves into our daily actions. And those actions are the things that send the energy vibrations around us in our sphere. And we can watch these things changing minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day. And I know that some decisions that have been made over the last few days have enabled other things to manifest here that are far better, or they're another opportunity. And an opportunity to achieve what is, for me, the best for me, as the primary purpose. And the secondary purpose is what's in the best interest for others, and ultimately for humanity. Because if I don't put myself first, if it doesn't feel right with me, how can I possibly suggest to others that this is a good thing to do? I'm just an example, and that's how I live my life. So I'm gonna sit here and enjoy the sunset. Lots of things are happening. The energies are really, really great here. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Please don't be drawn into the saga that's going on around the world. It's there as a distraction to keep you away from your path and from your journey. Laugh at it, smile at it, and know that you are who you are and you're doing what you're meant to be. But please, stop healing yourself. You're already healed. Start putting the healing into action and into practice. Lots of love. Bye bye.